everyone. So today we're doing a very small exercise for if you're just starting to alternate pick, which means up, down picking. And that's something that I use when I want little bursts of speed or something like that to accentuate a solo. So with this sort of technique, if you use it all the time, you know, it can sound sort of like flight of the bumblebee and it can sound just like a lot of noise. But when, for me personally, if you use it in little bursts and things like that, it can certainly add a lot of excitement uh, to solos and different songs. So let's dive right into it. This is the first video, so we're going to dive in about the mechanics of alternate picking, so up, down picking. So what you're going to need to do is let's pick the uh, fifth fret on the sixth string, pick down, and then pick up. Now, this is the very, very important thing. When you're first starting out, it's going to be hard for you to uh, control all of your different muscles. What I would say to do is there's two different ways you can pick. You can pick with your wrist which is sort of like that, so you're using your wrist up and up and down. Or what I do is pick with my forearm, so it's very, very small movements with my forearm. So my wrist is actually straight, so it's all coming from my forearm there. So what I would suggest is when you're first starting out, just pick one note, it can be on any string that you like. The reason why I've chosen the fifth fret and not all the way up higher, all the way down lower, is down lower your wrist gets in a bit of a funny angle and your forearm points out. So I think fifth fret is fairly comfortable, but if it's more comfortable to be on the ninth fret, that's fine too. But all you want to do is start to practice consistency of down, up. That's all you want. Down, up, down, up. Try and have as less movement going on as possible. So it's down, up. So if I was to move my wrist or my arm all the way out, I have to come so far back. So what you really want to do is as small movements as possible. And I'll show you a close up of that. So when I'm picking here, so you see from my picking hand, it's as small movements as possible. Because that really is the secret to it. The secret is to playing fast is economy of motion. So what that means is you're using the smallest amount of movements as possible. Because every time you do a wild swing, you have to come back in. Every time your fingers sort of flail out, you have to waste time sort of coming back in. So that's what you want to do. You want to just practice down up. Once you've got the overall mechanics and you can sit there. You don't have to be playing that speed, but just so you're starting to get more consistent picks, we're going to go do an exercise. Now, in this video, we're not going to use a metronome. In all other videos, we're going to be using a metronome. This is just to focus on the actual mechanics before we focus on really, really, uh, you know, crazy speeds. So it's just to make sure you've got a good foundation. We're going to bring it all together with a very, very popular three note per string, two shapes. So come in with your first finger on the fifth fret of the second string. Pick that down, right next to it, pick up with your second finger, then pick down. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Once you've got that, drop down a string, use your first finger on the fifth fret, down, third finger up, pinky down. So down, up, down, down, up, down, if you put them together. So once you've got that down, let's add in a reverse as well. So starting again, down, up, down, drop down a string, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you do it in a nice flowing pattern. So just practice going nice and slow, making sure everything's really even. And I'll show you my wrist movements because there's not a lot of movements going on in that other hand. Cool. 
Great job. So that would be the first exercise I would really just practice. Once you've got that down on those two strings, try finding some other sort of shapes that you like using two strings as well. And then try linking them together. But that's how I would first start this technique is really just worry about just the technique and using as small movements as possible, down, up, down, up. Make sure everything's sounding even. If it's sounding sloppy and it's not quite sounding right, slow it back down and the next video will show you how to use a metronome and you can actually gradually see how, how good you're getting with this as well. Well done for making it to the end. I'll see you all in the next one.